first, we've got some news from Bleepy Computer uh, on the Microsoft front. Windows Terminal gets support for creating custom themes. And that's what I've always said about Windows Terminal, that I would use it more <laughs> if it were just more fun. And ran on a Mac. And, and ran on a Mac, yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, th as far as I can see, the custom themes is just like colors. Uh, so there's actually two pieces to oh, it. And, and at a quick glance, it does look like it's just colors, which technically is what a theme is, yeah. uh, but you can also set a background image now. Ooh. And so you can have an image in the background of your terminal. Now, I, we've reported on the Windows terminal a few times over the years. I love it. I think it's great. You know, the Windows command prompt was neglected for a long, long time, and the Windows terminal adds so much cool stuff. I just love having a, a tabbed terminal where I can have a Windows shell, PowerShell, uh, uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux. You know, I can have Linux shells, and, and just all right side by side. I use the heck out of this thing, and I... I am sitting on a Mac right now, so I can't run it on this laptop, but uh, when I'm on Windows machines, I do use it a lot. So themes and personalization like this is stuff that just makes it easier to use. And uh, one thing they, they were kind of fighting with was determining whether they should be in light mode or dark mode, depending on your desktop. So now they're going to default to the dark mode. So this is all in a preview feature right now. Uh, it'll be rolling out to everybody in the next couple of months. But right now, if you want to try it out, you can go to their GitHub repository for Windows Terminal download the latest beta, and have it up and running. And the uh, the themes are kind of cool. You know, I complain a lot about Windows. About everything. I do. I'm a complainer. I like to just point out, you know, the infractions that you make on a daily basis. But I actually thought this was a, this was a step in the right direction for the old Windows systems because I like options. I like being able to make things the way I like them. And then going this way, you know, obviously, you know, they're not the first person to do this, but... At least they're finally joining the race and, and doing something where the end user has some really cool things that can make that system their own. I, I, I give this a thumbs up. Uh, well, who does not is one of our commenters from last week's episode uh, where you talked about <laughs> Windows 11 encryption who said, Windows is spyware, not secure, <laughs> not private, etc. People need to wake up, but they are so brainwashed by the government, who has nothing to do with Windows, and criminal organizations like Microsoft. Hmm. Well, there you go. All you know, I, oh, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, there, there is a, a not inaccurate movement that says that Windows collects more telemetry today than it ever has done in history. And that's a, that's a true statement. You know, it, it does collect a lot of information. Now, you have to determine whether or not you trust that Microsoft is anonymizing the data the way they say they are doing it. Uh, if they are anonymizing the data, then this gentleman or woman, I, I don't know, their, their concerns are like not, uh, I know, I gender ID somebody, <laughs> uh, but the uh, uh, their concerns are, are not valid in that case. But mm -hmm. we've seen time and time again where companies do not actually anonymize data, in which case they have some valid concerns. Now, in the United States, do you guys know how big, like how many pages our privacy law is? I have no clue. We have a privacy law? <laughs> That's the right okay. answer. Uh, in the United States, we don't have privacy yeah. laws. Certain so states do. Like California has stuff. California, and... Virginia. There's a couple that are trying, but we just don't have privacy laws. So technically, Microsoft is not a criminal organization in the United States, uh, at least not for that, <laughs> maybe for other things. But in the EU, that's a different story, and we'll see how it plays out. So I, I don't want to discount the you know the, the, the person who commented. like that. That's a valid concern, assuming mm -hmm. certain assumptions come true, right? <laughs> But so, so you're saying Microsoft alleges to anonymize everything, whereas, I mean, someone like Google, they're tying that all back to you as, a, as an individual. <laughs> yeah. Would you say, who do you think has more data on us? Google. I would, yeah, guess Google. I, I would say Google. Google yeah. certainly has a ton. And, you know, Microsoft has a hard time tying identities together when you move between devices versus Google does a really good job of that. Uh, Meta. Is that Facebook, why they always right? ask me to sign into Chrome on every device? Oh, yeah. Shoot. That's a big part of it. <laughs> yeah. And, it. and why they want you to use that identity to log in on other yeah. other sites and so on. Yeah. I knew it. Well, um, all I got to say is we got to move this show along because uh, when, once I started the last article, a spider touched my elbow uh, and then I saw it run across the arm <laughs> and I was not able to get it in time. Hey, so. you're going to be able to like swing from the walls and stuff oh, before too so? long. That'd be awesome. awesome. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Eh. No, nothing yet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that comes over. Traditionally, he builds web shooters. He, he doesn't have an organic webbing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Wait, Spider-Man? Yeah. Spider-Man's like a genius level IQ. Right. Even but that's in high not school. built into him? So when he was bit by the spider, sure. along came the instincts of the spider, which is to the idea and the formula for webbing. So that's like so in he, the suit. He constructs. Have you, have you guys seen the newest movie? Yeah. 
where like one of them actually does yeah. shoot it out of his wrist. Yeah, yeah, and they they were so like, the the Tobey Maguire mm. Sam Raimi version of of the Spider Man universe, they made him have organic web. I guess okay. they just didn't want yeah. it. Which was funny because it kind of takes away from the story, so they had to bring it back in, where he was unable to use web in the third uh, uh, installment of that series <laughs> because he had like, but it was a mental block. Whereas in the in the comics, he would run out of the solution that creates the web. And be like, oh crap! <laughs> you know? you're, you're just giving the spider more time now. Can we? Yeah. I know. Yeah, we should move to an all new studio. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That, we should. Yeah, we should burn this building <laughs> to the ground. Now. <laughs> Get that spider. That's my vote. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there. <laughs>